Hi, and welcome to my channel, Naughty Gnome Crafts. My name is Sarah, and you can find me as Naughty Gnome on Instagram. Today's video is going to be a fabric and pattern haul, and I'm going to be sharing with you my first ever sponsored fabric haul, so that's very exciting. I was contacted by the company Morex Fabrics, which is a company that operates out of California. They very kindly contacted me and asked me if I would like to select some fabrics from their inventory, and they shipped them to me free of charge, and I'm just going to share them with you on camera. And of course, once I actually use these fabrics, I will make sure to share them with you and let you know how the sewing experience went as well. So none of these fabrics are washed. This is just how it came to me out of the box. And let's just get started. So the first fabric I have to share is called Rayon Crinkle. It's 50 to 52 inches wide, 100% rayon, 125 GSM, and the colorway is called Black Ivory, and I have four yards of this. The price of this fabric is $4.75 per yard. So this fabric is a really lovely, lightweight fabric. It has wonderful drape, and it's in this really fun, vintage floral print with gingham in the background. I really like, they had several different colors of this, um, but I liked the black and white. It's very on trend right now. And it seems like maybe it's slightly sheer, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm really curious to see how this fabric will look once it's washed because for a crinkle rayon, it's really not that crinkly. I'm just a little bit curious to see if it'll be more crinkly once it's been washed and dried, um, but I'll have to report back on that. So with four yards of this, I was planning to make a matching set with a skirt, some sort of skirt and then a matching top. I think that that would be really cute and I think I'd get a, a lot of wear out of both pieces this summer, um, either separately or together. The second fabric is called Regina Rayon Jacquard Dobby Dot in Red. It's 100% rayon and it's 80% uh, GSM. And I got four yards of this and the price is $5.75 per yard. This one is probably my favorite. It is a little bit lighter than the crinkle rayon that I just showed you. Um, and it has this really beautiful silky texture to it. It's very soft to the touch. And when you get up close, you can definitely see that dobby texture on it. Um, it just adds a little bit of interest. I really, really like this fabric base. Um, it seems like it'll be perfect for summer wear. I think originally my plan for this was to make a dress, but if you watched my Me Made May lessons video, I'm trying to add fewer dresses to my wardrobe because I already have a few red dresses in particular. So instead, what I was thinking about for this is doing like a long maxi tiered skirt. I think that that would be really gorgeous in this beautiful drapey rayon. And then if I have enough left over, I think that I could also do a little matching top, maybe something off the shoulder. Um, I think that would also make a really cute set for the summertime. And I love this brilliant bright red. I'd say it's a true red. Um, red is my favorite color and so this one is definitely my favorite of all the fabrics that I was sent. This next one is called Rayon Slub. It's 56 to 58 inches wide, 100% rayon, and 150 GSM in the colorway Coral Pink and I got three yards of this. The price for this is $5.75 per yard. So this one um, was described to me by the um, representative at Morex as having sort of a linen-like texture. And now that I have it in hand, I can see what they mean. Um, there's definitely, the slub does sort of remind me of linen, but it's lighter weight and it's definitely has more drape. It's definitely a rayon, but it has that sort of interesting texture to it. Um, this is pretty opaque. I would say I would not be worried about making um, something and having to line it with this. I really like this coral pink color. It's definitely a little bit unusual for me. Um, it's just something different that I can try and I like the animal print. So for this one, I was actually thinking about doing another matching set. I just have those on the brain. I saw online recently that one of the things that is trending for summer is camp shirts. And I love a good camp shirt. Um, I think that they're really comfortable. So I think I was thinking about making like a slightly oversized camp shirt and then a pair of matching shorts. And then if I tucked the shirt into the shorts, it would kind of look like a romper. I think that that could be a really fun use of this set. So that's what I was thinking about for this one. Next up, we have the Fiona sweater knit. It's 63% poly, 34% rayon, and 3% spandex. It's 210 GSM in the colorway beige, and I requested two yards, and the price is 475 per yard. 
So this is really fun. It's a very subtle animal print. I was thinking that this would make a really good summer weight layering piece because even though it is a print because of the neutral color, I still think it would go with a lot of things in my wardrobe. And this fabric is fairly lightweight. It's maybe just on the tiny bit sheer side, but I think it would make a really nice summer weight cardigan. Um, it has a good amount of stretch. And I think that it would be perfect as sort of a piece that you throw on when it's just a little bit chilly in the evenings or if you're going somewhere with air conditioning, you know, kind of thing you keep in the car and just bring with you when you're going inside. Um, so yeah, I think that this would make a really nice cardigan. Next up is a French terry fabric. This one is 69% poly, 27% rayon, and 4% spandex, 200 GSM. It's in the color black and beige and I requested four yards and the price is $3.75 per yard. So this is a pretty lightweight French terry. It's definitely not a heavy winter fabric. I think it, you could definitely make um, spring or summer appropriate garments with this. Again, it has a pretty good amount of stretch um, and I think it would be really nice to dig another matching set. For this one, I was actually, because I have four yards, I was thinking I could do three different pieces from it. Um, I was going to make probably either a cardigan or a zip up hoodie, some sort of layering piece on top. And then I think that there's probably gonna be enough fabric that I could squeeze out a pair of joggers for when it's cooler out and also a pair of shorts. And then I could just mix and match those pieces. I think that I really like the color of this and the print. Um, it is, like I said, it has nice drape and it's nice and light. Um, so yeah, I really like this fabric. So lastly, they included a bonus fabric in my box that I did not request, but they just included it, which was very nice of them. It is another rayon crinkle in a pancake batter, and it's the 125 uh, GSM, and they gave me four yards, and the price of this one is $4.75 per yard. So this is just like the black and white one that I showed in the beginning, but just a different colorway. Um, again, I do really like the texture of this. I'm curious to see if it's gonna crinkle more in the wash. And for this one, because this pale yellow is not something that I would typically wear, I'm not quite sure what I wanna do with this, but I was thinking um, perhaps making some sort of pajama set, like doing like a little cami in shorts and then maybe even trying to get a matching robe out of it. it might be really nice for summer. Um, let me know what you would do with this in the comments because I'm not quite sure um, what the right uh, application is for this fabric. So thank you so much to Morex for sending me these fabrics to review. They did also provide a 15% off coupon code that I'm going to put up on the screen, but I'm also going to paste it in the description box. And I highly encourage you, if you want to use this coupon code, to just copy and paste it because it's one that's, it's a bunch of jumbled letters. It's hard to remember, but um, I do have a 15% off code that I'm going to put down in the description box. So um, please feel free to use that and let me know in the comments which one of these was your favorite. Now the rest of this haul is just going to be the things that I purchased in the month of May. So we're gonna start with patterns. Now I did purchase a few additional patterns that I've already talked about in my Me Made May plans video. So I'm not gonna go over them again, but I'm just gonna talk about the ones that I have not previously shown you. I did go to Joann's I think one or two times. And so I have some, some big four patterns to share with you. And I also have some indie purchases. So the first pattern that I want to share is New Look 6707, which is a pattern for a button-up blouse with a statement collar. If you watched my Me Made May Unloved Makes video, then you will know that I've decided that I want to make another statement collar blouse. That, that, and this version has a slightly smaller collar, so I feel like it's a little bit more wearable than the other one that's in my wardrobe. And actually I saw a video from Emily Lightly where she made the Style Arc Kenny blouse, which has a similar look to this one. And she made it out of a natural colored linen. And I just thought that that was such an interesting and unique juxtaposition of the rustic fabric with the sweet details of the blouse. And I actually really wanna copy her. Right now I don't have appropriate fabric in my stash to use for that, but I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for some lightweight handkerchief linen that I could use to make a blouse like that. The only thing about this pattern that I don't love is the sleeves. I would probably lengthen them a little bit and maybe make them like three quarter length and then do elastic gathering for the sleeve instead of doing the bands. Um, but that's the only change that I would make. And I think that that would make a really cute addition to my spring and summer wardrobe. Next up is the new look 6493, which is a romper and jumpsuit. I have been obsessed with rompers and jumpsuits lately. And I really like that this one has a wrap front. 
Um, I like that it's a tank style and I really like the, the idea of layering it. So the pattern actually comes with an additional knit pattern for kind of a sports bra or like a crop top. And I do like the idea of wearing something like that underneath this. Um, I think that it's a really cute combination and I'm potentially thinking about maybe using some linen for it. I don't have firm plans for this one, but I did like this pattern. So I went ahead and picked it up. Next up is new look 6605. This is a pleated skirt with an elastic waist. I saw on T from Crumpets Tea and Sewing channel that she has mentioned this pattern before and I really liked that it's a pleated skirt with an elastic waist. I don't think I've ever seen that combination before. All of the other pleated skirt patterns that I have have a fixed waistband or a facing. So I do like the idea that it has an elastic waist. It's another one that I don't have firm plans for, but if I come along the right fabric, I think that that could make a really cute skirt for summer. For indie patterns, I purchased the Chalk and Notch Evelyn skirt. I actually bought this right when it came out on release day because the when the pattern was released, um, I just was it was like a quintessential like aha moment because I feel like this skirt is perfectly suited to my style. I love it. I like all three views. I would make all three of them. There's a version that has a button front and it's a midi length with a slit. There is a mini version that's the button front and then there is an elastic waist version with the midi that has the slit and like I said I like all three views um, I would probably make the elastic one first maybe I might use that black and white gingham morex fabric that I just showed earlier on in the haul I think that would make a really nice Evelyn skirt and I really love that pattern and I'm excited to make it and then finally for woven patterns I won this pattern as a prize for the sew maxi for mother's day challenge that was hosted by T of crumpets tea and sewing and crystal of crystal sews and stuff so thank you so much to the two of you for hosting the challenge and also to style arc for donating the pattern I won the style arc pattern of my choice and I have chosen the Mildred jumpsuit which is a really cute wide leg cropped jumpsuit. Um, it's sort of an overall style. It's just a pull on, there's no fastenings. It's really unstructured around the waist, so it would be really comfortable. And there's a number of fabrics that I would like to use to make this. Um, I would like a linen one, maybe like a lightweight denim. I haven't quite narrowed down which fabric that I wanna make, but I do wanna make this one soon because I think it would be perfect for my summer wardrobe. If you're enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button because it helps more people find my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. So let's move on to knit patterns. So I purchased quite a few knit patterns because I'm going to be talking about it in more detail in my plans video, which is coming up very soon. But for now, I'm just going to share the patterns with you. The first one that I got was the Made for Mermaids Florence top. It's actually a top and a dress. It's a beautiful one shoulder top and it has like a little uh, cutout on the side and you can tie it in a bow that's for the top version. Or you can do uh, two different dresses. You can do a bodycon dress with the cutout or you can do a dress that has a circle skirt, I think, or like a half circle skirt. It's a really beautiful and interesting pattern. I haven't seen a lot of patterns for one shoulder knit designs before. And I probably wouldn't make the fuller skirt version, but I do like both the top and the dress. Next up is another new release that I snapped up right away. It's the LB Textiles Wayland tank. I love this tank and I have plans to make several of them. It has two different views. There's a V front and back and then a scoop front and back. And I believe you can mix and match, you know, you can match different fronts to backs um, if you want to to kind of mix it up it's a little bit cropped and it has a built-in shelf bra and i just think that this is the perfect summer tank it's exactly what i've been looking for i'm really glad that she released it at this time because i just have so many plans to make tops like this for the summer my last two purchases are from green style creations i bought their new aria top which is a variety of different knit tops but they have an interesting little twist front detail um, I think that there's versions with that are sleeveless or ones with sleeved. There might be some different neckline options. I can't remember because Green Style just offers so many different options in their patterns. And I really like this one because you can make something for um, everyday wear or you can make it as an exercise top. And I would really like to do both. 
So that was the first one that I got. And then the second one is their brand new release, which is the Bali top. This is so on trend right now. This ruching detail is everywhere. And I really like that it also has so many different options. You can do it sleeveless, you can do it sleeved. I think there's, there's different length variations. And I really like the version that has the tank top, but there's little extra like strings that you can put. Um, sort of like the exposed drawstring. Um, it just adds a little bit of extra detail and I really like the way that that looks. So the last part of this haul video are all of the fabrics that I purchased myself and there's quite a few of them. I was a little bit bad this month, but that's okay. So the first thing I'm gonna share with you is some purchases from Rainbow Fabric. I've basically just been jealous of all of our UK friends who have access to all these wonderful fabric shops over in the UK and then the thought occurred to me that I could just order from them also. There's no reason I'm not barred from ordering from them. So I was looking at Rainbow Fabrics because they have wonderful prices and they sell dead sock fabric. And I actually happened upon a free shipping offer, like they were offering free international shipping. So I was like, okay. So I bought a number of fabrics from them. I think this one was called Black and White Patchy Viscose and I got three meters of this. So I originally bought this to make a dress, but as I said, I've been trying to move away from making too many dresses. So I was thinking possibly that I would either make the True Bias Shelby romper, or if not that, maybe some sort of matching set. Um, three meters is plenty for me to work with, and it has a beautiful drape, it's pretty lightweight, and I really like this dark background with sort of the taupe and white um, patches on it. Whatever I end up using this fabric for, I think that it's gonna be really nice. So this next one that I had to share with you is called Leopard Viscose Maricane, and I got three meters. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't love this fabric. I've never used this type of fabric before. I've never even heard of Viscose Maricane. It seems similar to a crepe. It has a bit of a texture to it. And if I'm gonna be honest, it feels a little bit crunchy and almost like, not really scratchy, but I just don't really like the way that it feels. It has this beige background, and then the centers of the leopard print are pink. And it's just, I'm not quite sure that it's really suited for my complexion, but I'm still gonna use it. The reason that I bought this fabric is because I saw a dress online and I can't remember what shop it was, but it was a ruffled wrap dress and I just fell in love with it. It was in a leopard print and I just wanted my own leopard print ruffled wrap dress. So I'm definitely gonna use this for that, even though it's not quite what I was expecting. I also just found a hole in the fabric. Um, I just realized that this was there when I was um, unfolding it, so I'll have to make sure that I cut around that. But yeah, I don't know what pattern I'm gonna use yet, but I definitely think I wanna use this for a wrap dress. Oh, and all of these fabrics that I am showing you, they have all been pre-washed, um, so they're probably a little bit wrinkly because I don't iron my fabric until I actually use it. This is the last fabric that I got from Rainbow Fabrics. It is a polka dot poplin, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a poplin. Um, and I bought three meters of this. It's just a teeny bit sheer, but it's really not too bad. Originally, I had bought this to make a shirt dress, but again, with the whole trying not to make too many dresses thing, I was thinking about switching that to possibly doing a skirt, um, maybe like that pleated skirt from the new look pattern, and then some sort of matching top. Um, I realize that I'm sounding predictable, but I just love the matching set and I'm not gonna apologize for it. So that was the last fabric that I got from Rainbow Fabrics. The next two fabrics that I'm gonna show you, I purchased from Joann's. I hardly ever remember to go to the clearance section of Joann's. I don't know why, I just never go there. But I checked it out and they were having a sale, so I got these two fabrics at a really good price. One of them I'm kind of regretting getting it now, um, but then that is this one. It's the, a, the Olive Stretch Sateen. Um, it's a bottom white fabric has a decent amount of stretch, and I bought what was left on the bolt, which was roughly one and a half yards. And the reason that I'm regretting buying this, although it was very, very cheap, I wanna say that this piece was like $10 or something, um, but after I washed it, it does really attract lint, and I can tell that the fabric quality is not very good. Rather than making something wearable out of this, I'll probably use it for muslins, but it was so inexpensive that I think that it's probably a good use for that. I can use it for when I want to muslin a stretch woven design. I think it'll be really useful for that. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna end up actually making a garment out of this, but it was very inexpensive. The second fabric that I got from Joanne is this stripy linen. Um, I got two and a half yards of this, 
And again, it was pretty inexpensive because it was on clearance. Now, I don't think that these colors are the best colors for me, but I do think that they're fun and different. And I actually do think I want to stick with my original thought for this, which was that I wanted to make a shirt dress, something like the Cali shirt dress or something along those lines. Um, I think it would be really nice and breezy for summer. And I just bought some um, like raffia belts from Amazon that I think would be really nice to sort of cinch in the waist with that style of unstructured loose shirt dress. And I think that that would make a really cute summer look. The last fabrics that I have to share with you are from Blackbird Fabrics. I went to Blackbird Fabrics to buy one fabric and I ended up buying several because you know how it is. So one of the things that I've been wanting to do is to make a tiered dress out of different ginghams. I've just seen so many different dresses like that online and I really wanted something like that. And as I said in my Me May May wrap up video, I've been really loving bright colors lately. So I got three different colors of the Blackbird range of linens and I thought that these coordinated so perfectly together. I actually think I'm gonna do it like this. So I'll have a tiered dress where it's just cascading in different colors, and I'm not sure what pattern yet, but I think that's gonna be really nice. I got one meter of each fabric, and this linen is just a beautiful quality. It's already so soft, and I think this is gonna make such a fun summer dress. I also bought three meters of their everyday linen in black. I got three meters because I wanted to be able to make a pair of pants and a pair of shorts. Um, it's a, I would say this is a medium weight linen. It's maybe just slightly sheer, but I think in a drapey pant or short, it'll be fine. And um, it seems like a really nice quality. It's very soft. And I'm really looking forward to cutting into this because I definitely could use pants and shorts out of linen for summer. And the last fabric is the one that I actually went to the shop for specifically. This is their bamboo rib knit in ivory and I got one of meter. I love this fabric. It's probably my favorite rib knit fabric. I've bought it in several different colors and it is pretty pricey and so I try not to buy it too often, but it is my favorite. It's super, super stretchy. It has wonderful recovery and it's a nice weight. So it's even though it's white, it's not sheer. So I bought a meter and I think I'm going to be able to get two different tank tops out of this. Um, and I really do need some white tank tops in my summer wardrobe. So um, I'm hoping to get this made up pretty soon and actually you'll be seeing this again in my plans video. So I hope that you enjoyed my May haul. Don't forget to use the discount code for Morex that's gonna be down in the description box. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm gonna go ahead and link my Me Made May wrap up because I talked about it so much so that you will know what I am talking about. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.